Chapter 1104 What do we do? This. This. All of the disciples present, including even Ye Rosewater, were staring with wide eyes. White Mirror Jade hadn't died, but the result was almost the same. Lin Ming's spear had crushed apart his organs. Had Lin Ming gone insane? As for White Mirror Jade's minions, all of them had frightened expressions on their faces as if they had seen a ghost. Senior Apprentice Brother White. Senior Apprentice Brother White. How could he? Throughout the entire fight, although Lin Ming had stabbed out 101 spear strikes, it had lasted less than 10 breaths of time. In such a short period of time, White Mirror Jade had actually been wounded to near death. Although White Mirror Jade's condition wasn't too good to begin with and he had also been surprise attacked by Lin Ming, after burning his own blood essence and the blood essence contained in the top grade saint artifact, his strength had still been no worse than it would be in his peak state. Even then, he had been defeated in a single move afterwards. How could that be possible? Senior Apprentice Brother White. Senior Apprentice Brother White. Damn it. No matter what happened, this is a death sentence for Lin Ming. What a heinous and unforgivable sinful man. Let's execute him now. As these minions saw their respected elder senior apprentice brother struck into such a state, all of them were angered. They rushed towards the battle first to examine White Mirror Jade's situation as well as to question Lin Ming. However, just as they walked several steps, they touched upon the Grand Mist Force field that still wrapped around Lin Ming. Their hearts thumped in their chests and a cold chill raced up their backs. They no longer dared to go forwards. In that moment when they stepped into the range of the Grand Mist Force field, it was the same feeling as stepping into Azure Hell. There was an oppressive feeling that suffocated them, making them desperately gasp for breath as all the strength from their bodies rapidly faded away. As for Lin Ming, who was standing in the focal center of that grand mist space, although he was only a few hundred feet away, this distance seemed to extend into infinity. Lin Ming slowly turned around. He extracted the Phoenix Blood Spear from White Mirror Jade's body, pulling out a splash of blood as he did so. Pai Ta. Pai Ta. The drops of blood slowly dripping down from the edge of a Phoenix Blood Spear could be clearly heard by everyone. All those minions that wanted to interrogate Lin Ming felt their courage flee their bodies. Their lips trembled and their bodies shook. As Lin Ming's demonic gaze fell upon them, a horrifying thought inexplicably appeared in their hearts. Lin Ming. He shouldn't be trying to eliminate all witnesses, right? No. Don't be afraid. He definitely won't do that. If he kills us all and he is the only one who leaves, then there isn't anything he can do to explain that. That's right. And once we scatter and run, there's no way he can deal with us all. These disciples said that they weren't afraid, but their faces and tone betray their true feelings. They all had ashen complexions and they constantly drew backwards. In truth, what they said wasn't wrong. But, if Lin Ming had dared to openly kill White Mirror Jade like this, that clearly proved he was insane. Didn't that mean he would do something else crazy and kill them next? And there was also Lin Ming's strength. Even those people that respected and worshipped White Mirror Jade wouldn't imagine they would be able to defeat him, even if they surprise attacked him at a point when he was weak. Without a doubt, this was testament to just how strong Lin Ming was. Even if the two of them were in their peak states, Lin Ming would likely still be able to defeat White Mirror Jade. In this situation, these disciples no longer cared that Lin Ming was only at the eighth stage of life destruction, nor did they hold out on the chance that they could join forces to defeat him. In fact, all of them were now thinking about immediately dispersing and fleeing as far as they could. With so many people, there would always be a few of them that managed to survive. Junior Apprentice Brother Lin, you've gone mad, Yi Rosewater anxiously said, her slender white hands tightly clenched together, her fingers weaving into each other. Although she also wanted to eliminate White Mirror Jade, she hadn't wanted the current situation to occur. She didn't know why the Island Master of Carefree Island was doing everything in his power to protect Lin Ming, but that didn't mean he would still tolerate him after Lin Ming killed White Mirror Jade in front of everyone. That would be the same as slapping his own face. Before Lin Ming attacked, he hadn't even made a sound or given a hint. This clearly meant that he thought she would stop him. Thus he decided to act now and deal with the consequences later. This was just far too rash. Senior Apprentice Brother Lin, he. That Junior Apprentice Brother Song was also at a loss for words. As for Hao Jim, who had been arguing with White Mirror Jade's subordinates, she was completely withered. She had only been trading banter and mocking words. If someone had told her to do as Lin Ming did and suddenly set someone up in such a death trap, she wouldn't be able to do so even with a hundred times the courage. We're finished. Senior Apprentice Sister Yi. What do we do? Now Rangem's charming and lustful face now looked like a frostbitten eggplant. Lin Ming. You have guts. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Underneath the phoenix blood spear, white mirror jade's entire body twitched. As he opened his mouth to speak, foamy blood gushed out from between his lips. At this time he had lost over half the blood in his body. His chest had a gaping wound in it, exposing his insides. His right lung had been completely smashed into a pulp and there was not a single rib in his body that wasn't broken. The broken ribs had even shifted and pierced into his organs. His liver and spleen had burst open and blood was flowing from his chest cavity. After being beaten into such a state, White Mirror Jade actually managed to maintain a fearless expression. He didn't beg for mercy nor did he fall into despair. Lin Ming, if you have a guts then kill me. Ha ha ha. I want to see just what you'll do then. Do you think you can kill everyone here to eliminate all witnesses? The basis of that is if you can kill dozens of people as they are scattering in all directions. Or, perhaps you will convince Junior Apprentice Sister Yi to lead all these rebels and betray the sect? Even though White Mirror Jade's words lacked energy, he was still able to speak. By transferring true essence from his dungeon, he was barely able to maintain his voice. In truth, his lungs were injured so badly that he couldn't speak anymore. 
In such a situation, he still summoned true essence from his dungeon. This was clearly taxing on White Mirror Jade. It caused more and more blood to flow out from his body. White Mirror Jade's words were intended to deliberately point out Yi Rosewater. He knew what sort of character Yi Rosewater had and knew that she absolutely wouldn't dare to shoulder the offense of betraying her sect. And even if she did dare to do so, the disciples under her wouldn't. As for White Mirror Jade keeping up this confident appearance, although it seemed as if it were intended to anger Lin Ming, the truth was that it was intended to place a mental pressure on Lin Ming so that he would understand that he couldn't win and to calm him down. Lin Ming sneered. He lifted the Phoenix Blood Spear. The spear point lifted up, slowly reaching towards White Mirror Jade's exposed and beating heart. Just what sort of feeling was it to have a cold spear point touch one's heart? This sort of killing intent was simply indescribable. As White Mirror Jade's heart beat, it was poked by the spear point, causing fresh blood to leak out. This was truly the feeling of taking a knife to the heart. Even if White Mirror Jade was maintaining his vibrant aura as much as possible, his complexion still paled and he trembled all over. If Lin Ming gently pushed his hand forwards, or even if Lin Ming's grip on the Phoenix Blood Spear loosened, White Mirror Jade's heart would be pierced through. You? White Mirror Jade's eyes widened. You sure speak a lot of crap. You don't seem to understand your present situation. You are now my prisoner. I just need to make a bit of effort to eliminate you. As Lin Ming spoke, killing intent flowed out from his entire body. His eyes flashed with a purple light. As White Mirror Jade met Lin Ming's burning gaze, his heart nearly failed. A cold chill rushed through his entire body. He could feel that Lin Ming wasn't joking at all. He could really kill him. You. You are insane. White Mirror Jade shouted out, outwardly fierce even as he shook on the inside. He he, I'm insane. The insane one hears you. You colluded with Splinter Soul Mountain and the Occult Bone Clan, wanting to send me into a death trap, and you were even willing to sacrifice Yi Rosewater and her subordinates for this reason. You think I don't know of all this? Lin Ming directly spoke out a main matter. But as White Mirror Jade heard Lin Ming's reasoning, he didn't seem panicked at all. Instead, he sneered and said, Lin Ming, I have no idea what you are talking about. This. Arg. Yi Rosewater sighed, not knowing what to say. She had wanted to quietly gather evidence, waiting until she had enough that she could topple White Mirror Jade from his lofty perch. But what use was that now? Without any evidence, there was nothing that could be done. One didn't need to be a genius to know that White Mirror Jade would deny any such claims. Junior Apprentice Brother Lin, you are too impatient. You. Yi Rosewater whispered. Senior Apprentice Sister Yi, I know what your plan was, but did you really think that with your methods you could compete with White Mirror Jade's cunning and find enough evidence to bring him down? Lin Ming asked back with a true essence sound transmission. Yi Rosewater was stunned, not immediately responding. Indeed, Lin Ming wasn't wrong. In terms of machinations, she wasn't White Mirror Jade's match at all. Whether it was individual strength, mentality, background, or how ruthless and merciless one needed to be, she couldn't compete with White Mirror Jade at all. And if it weren't for Lin Ming saving her this time, she would have likely been abducted by the occult bone clan to be used as a human furnace. Although she would live now, the chances of her finding enough evidence to bring down White Mirror Jade were next to zero. It was likely that she would be the one framed by White Mirror Jade instead, and she would ultimately die a tragic death after suffering endless abuse. In fact, how could Yi Rosewater not be aware of this point? Even so, what could she do? If she tried to do as Lin Ming did and kill White Mirror Jade, that would only mean she would die faster. Lin Ming. How dare you slander the good names of others. Lin Ming, you simply have the heart of a wolf, you depraved and cruel beast. When you were missing, Senior Apprentice Brother White always said that we had to look for you. Senior Apprentice Brother White has been the elder Senior Apprentice Brother for so many years and he has also protected and cherished his fellow disciples, treating them with kindness and care. How could he possibly frame you? Moreover, in this mystic realm where we had to fight with the occult bone clan in Splinter Soul Mountain, framing you would only mean that our own strength would be weakened. Do you think that Senior Apprentice Brother White could be as cold and callous as you to plot against those from the same sect? Lin Ming, don't you think these excuses you come up with are too ridiculous? If you say that Senior Apprentice Brother White betrayed you, then where is the evidence? Bring out the evidence. White Mirror Jade didn't even need to speak. His minions were suitably angry for him. At this time, they were so enraged that they even forgot how terrifying Lin Ming was. In everyone's heart, White Mirror Jade was a charming and cordial fellow who knew to repay kindness with kindness. He had the ways of a venerable elder and he was also very wise and able to take center stage in all situations. In the eyes of the young disciples, White Mirror Jade's fame and prestige far surpassed Yi Rosewater's. In other words, he was material naturally born to be the future island master. This was why White Mirror Jade had so many subordinates. In this sort of situation, Lin Ming had said that White Mirror Jade had betrayed his sect. How could anyone else believe this? 